I was uh, 31 years old when I came to BMCC. I hadn't ever really attended high school, but I had a GED from New Jersey. And I had just, my first son had just been born and, you know, I was working uh, very menial kind of, kind of jobs. And so um, I knew that I, I had to do something, you know, to, to be able to provide a, a better future, you know, for my, for my son. Well, Michael, um, you know, he was in one of my uh, early American history courses. We were in a trailer uh, over on uh, West Street, I think, um, or Harrison Avenue. And um, he was, you know, very um, keyed in all the time. Um, he wasn't the most vocal student in the class, and he wasn't, you know, he didn't necessarily stand out in terms of what he had to say, but he was always aware, he was always keyed in and listening to what I was saying. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. I thought maybe um, philosophy or classics when I transferred. But I'd always had a, a, I've always been really interested in history, read a lot of it on my own. And when I got here, I had um, Professor Kramer for the uh, U.S. History Survey both semesters. And we had we developed kind of a good rapport over the first semester, and I, I guess I did really well. So when I came back for the second semester of the class, he he decided to uh, challenge me a little bit, and so he uh, instead of doing the same three to five page paper that the rest of the class was doing, he kind of uh, directed me to a, a research uh, paper that I would do for him, small paper, maybe ten ten or twelve pages. And so I did that, and he was uh, very enthusiastic about it, and I felt really good about it. And it, it was after that that I um, decided that it was history, you know, that I was going to do history. So anyway, he writes the paper and he turns it in, and it's, and it's very strong. I mean, it, um, you know, it uses the many and the few. It has a number of newspaper articles which he describes, but he doesn't get kind of uh, buried in the, in the details. And he keeps his view in mind, which is his argument in mind, which is, you know, how did the, his question in mind, which is how did the public react to this? Um, and, you know, this kind of fit into his abiding interest in the history of communism and the history of labor. You know, I gave him some comments on the paper. I said, thank you very much. This is, this is very good. And so then he says to me, well, you know, I really enjoyed your course, especially your second course. And, you know, I'm thinking about going on to a senior college, he said, How, what would you think about the CUNY baccalaureate? And I said, well, that's, that sounds excellent. You know, that's a, that's a very good plan. So anyway, I wrote him a letter of recommendation, and uh, he was accepted to the CUNY baccalaureate. And periodically, I got emails from him saying, you know, I contacted Professor Birkin, you know, things are going well, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do next, you know, what would you suggest I do? Um, I think he even asked me at one point, you know, how I would feel about graduate school. Um, and uh, I always, you know, tried to respond to his emails in an encouraging way. I didn't try to tell him what to do. When I got into the CUNY BA program the next year, thanks to his letter of recommendation, um, that's, what, that's why what I got in there to study was early American history. And because, because he, he put me on that path, that early in the first year, I was able to do lots of things to prepare for the graduate school application process, you know. I think the thing that drew, that drew Michael in was the kind of analytic uh, approach to history that I try to adopt. That, that, and I also think he was interested in the kind of bottom-up sort of perspective, which he just, which he was sympathetic to um, and perhaps had not been exposed to before. Through the CUNY BA program, one of the benefits there is um, being able to take classes all over the CUNY system. I have taken classes at seven schools in the CUNY system, including the Graduate Center. And um, when I got to City College, after I left BMCC after two years, I had an advisor there who um, let me do a senior honors research essay in my junior year. That paper 
won a department award at City College, and then was later nominated to, for publication in the Columbia Undergraduate Journal of History, of which it was one of four papers selected nationwide to be published in the next issue. And it's also the basis of my writing sample uh, for my graduate applications. On a, on a Monday morning, I woke up and I checked my email, and there was an email from uh, the professor that I would work with at, at Yale. She was <laughs> congratulating me, telling me that the admissions committee at Yale, um, or that the history department was um, making me an offer of admission. I didn't, she, she didn't tell me the offer yet. It, she was kind of giving me a heads up ahead of time. And um, there, it was like an atom bomb. <laughs> it was like an atom bomb in my, in my, in my mind. Uh, the, the next day I got an email from the department uh, telling me telling me basically what she had told me and a couple days later I got I got a letter in the mail with their offer you know the offer is for, uh, full tuition remission which is thirty four thousand five hundred dollars a year uh, living stipend of twenty six thousand five hundred dollars for five years and a possible sixth year, a minimum of that, and full full health care for me and my two sons and my wife. So <laughs> it's quite, quite an incredible offer, actually. Well, I'm not surprised that Michael, in particular, um, turned out to get a fellowship to Yale. It's it's uh, I mean that might sound surprising, but it's um, you know he he was very um, equanimical about doing historical research. He didn't find it daunting. He came up with his own um, sources and his own sort of uh, approach to addressing this issue. Also, you know, he had read a lot of history before he was in my course. I mean, when I mentioned the, the, uh, a book on uh, the Communist Party, Harvey Clare's The Heyday of American Communism, he had already read the book. Um, so, and the way that he carried out the research project without, you know, that he approached me about doing an honors project, and then when he couldn't do that, he was disappointed, so he proposed another research project instead. Um, but above all, I think the way that he was able to do the project without, without it being uh, really a source of too much anxiety or, you know, having trouble meeting a deadline or anything like that, that, um, that left a strong impression. So it, it gave me the impression that he would be someone who could do historical research as a regular, you know, task and not, and not find that to be too difficult. I couldn't have done it without my wife, really, you know, and I mean, we, we, we it was a struggle. It was a struggle to get through the undergraduate because for the last, um, for the last uh, three, three and a half semesters, I had, I had stopped working and was just concentrating on school because it was getting so close. And the work that I was doing, there was no way that I was going to be able to keep doing the level of work, you know, if I, if I still had to work part time or, or full time. And we kind of just agreed together to, that we would make this sacrifice for the next year or two, you know what I mean? And we knew that things were going to be even harder than they, than they had been, but we hoped that it would pay off in the end, you know, and, and now, now it has. Yeah. I mean, she's ecstatic. I mean, she always knew that I, could, that I could do it probably more than I did. I think that Michael is, um, in some ways, representative of one of our core purposes here at BMCC, which is that we want to people, we want to offer people an opportunity to find out what they want to do and to do it. And um, there's a reason that we're connected to the university, you know. Um, Michael did the research on the CUNY baccalaureate himself and it made sense for him. Um, but there are other schools here that make sense for other people and so I'm, you know, I'm very pleased that at the CUNY Baccalaureate they appreciated that and then at other schools they appreciated that, at graduate schools they appreciated that. He's an older student who's out of school for some time. He came back here, he wanted to advance his education and in the process he figured out what he wanted to do and then we were able to offer him a path uh, you know, to accomplishing 
to accomplishing what he wanted to do. And I'm, and I'm very pleased that other people, uh, you know, looked at looked at him favorably.